Okay, let's come into our mountain pose and do our warm ups. So spread your toes out, hip width apart, knees going towards your second toes, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down towards your waist. And reach your crown toward the ceiling. Bring your ribs toward your spine and up. Get lengthening through that whole spine. And take a few moments of breathing in, filling your belly as you breathe, letting it move out, filling that lower part of your lungs, the best oxygen connection. Exhaling, emptying your lungs completely, letting out all that stress. And just allow your shoulders to relax and your spine to lengthen as you inhale your arms to shoulder level. Exhale your hands to your chest. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Just gently at the fingers, press them down and lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Pivot at your hips. Exhale, over. And just bring your head up and your head down. Move your chin around. That neck releasing, knees bent toward your toes, just slightly not beyond, and wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up, and lift your heart. Shoulders down, head back. Just not lifting your chin too much, just a little stretch through the back of the neck. And then inhale, upright, and release. Coming back into mountain pose, just begin feeling that circulation increase. And again, reach out at shoulder level. Exhale to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale the hands behind you. Clasp them the other way, so shift the fingers in one position over. And again, stretch into your back bend, lifting your heart. Exhale over. And just release any tension. Bring your head toward your knees, your hands toward your head. Just feel your body move a little deeper. And then knees bend again, lifting ribs and dropping sitting bones. Lift all the way back up through the spine into the back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, spread your toes. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhaling, come up, release into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling your body. Get ready for our side stretch. So let's Bring one arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder, stretch. Exhale, lean to the side, no twist on this one. Remember, don't lean forward. Stretch through those ribs, push your foot, you're leaning away from down for that extra. Then inhale up, exhale and release. Shoulders back and down, and bring the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push them away and lean to the side. Again, look slightly up, not forward. And just push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra stretch. Keep breathing and stretching and lengthening. Inhale to the top, release back into mountain. Again, shoulders circling, getting rid of any stress and tension in that area. And stretch your spine apart for our twist. So arms up. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring the arms back near your ears. Stretch the elbows and head up and the sitting bones down. And exhale to one side. Take a breath. And as you exhale, come up and open your breath. Just take a moment and breathe. Arms by your ears, sitting bones lifting. And then slowly work your way back up in the twist. Lift your heart. Pull your shoulders down and elbows back. So make sure you're in the upper body for that back bend, not below the back. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Switch your arms around, pull them back by your ears again. And stretch the spine apart to exhale, twisting to the other side. Another breath and pivot over as you exhale. Spread those toes, relax. The whole upper body coming toward that leg, but keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And breathing in, work your way back up in the twist into the upper body for your back. Down. Shoulders down, chest high, elbows back. Take a moment to breathe there, feeling that body stretch out through the crown. 
And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, extended mountain. Pivot at your hips, keep the arms by your ears, and see if you can get parallel to the floor. And then just drop into ragdoll and hang however much you want. Pull your hands behind your legs at your calves. Pull in for a little deeper stretch. And then release the hands to the front. Straighten your knees. Lift the sitting bones. And either grasp your big toes with your index and middle fingers and your thumb and straighten your knees as much as you can. And then flatten your back. Or if you want even more, you can put your fingertips under the bottoms of your feet, the toes down into your palms, and then straighten everything, gorilla pose. But stretch and straighten, straighten the knees as much as you can, the arms, the spine, get the spine as straight as you can. Really lengthening sitting bones and crowns, stretching apart. And then whichever way you have your hands, release back into mountain pose or into Ragdoll pose, <laughs> and slowly wind to mountain pose. Shoulders back and down a couple of times, releasing any stress from that. Take a moment and breathe. And then stretch your spine apart again, and just gently move side to side. Hands going one way and then the other, just following with your gaze as you go toward the back at each side. Reaching up through the crown, down with the shoulders. And then coming back to the center, step your feet together, bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond, hands above your knees, remember no pressure, just positioning. And circle the knees, nice big circles, toward your toes, all the way around. Feel those ankles working, move around through the toes too. And then stop and go the other way with the circles. Just let that lower back, lower body get a little bit more range of motion going there. And again, stop in the middle, find that spot out in front of you, and lift your heels. Come onto the balls of your feet, not your toes themselves. So the base of the toes support you, not the toes. Spread those toes out. Get your balance as much as you can. Take a breath. Feel those balls of the feet really working to support you. Feel those toes, spread them out. No gripping. And then back onto your heels and up onto your toes a few times, letting that whole bottom of your foot get a little massage and work through the arches, through the heels, through the toes themselves. And then coming back up, Step back into mountain pose, feet hip width apart. And clasp your hands into reverse prayer, fingertips up between your shoulder blades if that works, palms pressing as close together as you can, getting those shoulders nice and open across the heart, or just clasp at your elbows either way, just to keep your shoulders releasing. Bend your knees toward your toes again, and we'll circle the hips, nice big circles. Just breathe with it, letting that whole lower body get a nice massage through that range of motion. And then stop and go the other way with your circles. And again, just feel the hips, the knees, the ankles, everything working. And release that back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get back into mountain pose, spreading your toes, sitting bones, shoulder blades down, crown reaching up. Keep that core activated. Bring your arms back to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Take a moment and stretch long, and then push your sitting bones way back, squatting into chair pose. So knees coming toward your toes, Sitting bones going way behind you, spine and arms, everything in a straight line as much as you can. Deepen into that squat as far as your body wants to go. Spread the toes, remember, no gripping. And with the weight back a little bit more into the heels, maybe. Stretch through the whole spine, sitting bones and crown, fingertips out, shoulder blades back. 
And then lead with your fingertips coming back. Turn the palms out, down to shoulder level. Stretch it out and release. And just take a moment, feel what's going on for your body today as you get back into the mountain pose. Find your balance foot. We're going to do our balance practice. So lift the toes on your balance foot. Again, the ball of the foot gets support, no gripping in the toes. Put them back down and spread them out as much as you can from that good base. Heel and base of the toes supporting you evenly. Keep that arch lifting. Make sure your knee is going toward the second toe. So keep that roll in for the whole length of your leg. Or activate it for the lower back. Shoulders back and down. And relax your arms. Sink evenly into that foot and bring your other one up. Your balance challenge today just a little or toward your heart as much as you want. Don't cross the foot over. So again, roll in toward the center line of your body with the top of the thigh. Circle your ankle when you feel comfortable with your balance. Circle it both ways. Get that ankle working so it's no stiff old person with ankle. And flex and point and bring the foot back down. Take what worked on that side, move it to the other side. Spread those toes really well. Make sure you're not gripping. Keep that aligned and everything up through the shoulders, through the crown. Get the base of the toes and heels evenly supporting you. Sitting bones down, core active. And again, relax your shoulders as you bring the other. Bring it as high as it wants to go on this side. And when you're comfortable there, circle your ankle. Keep breathing. Keep relaxing. Keep working as much as you need to. And again, straighten the ankle out with that flexing point as you bring the foot back down. Once you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment, feel your body just stretch and lengthen through your spine. Bring your hands to your lower back so the heel of the palm is at your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your hips. Bring your elbows toward each other and feel that heart area expand. Lift your crown and stretch it slightly back. Keep stretching out through the base of that skull area so that neck keeps stretching. Keep lifting and breathing. Stretch it out. Spread your toes. Keep those hands just nicely supporting that lower back. Take a few breaths, lift your heart maybe a little higher. And then chin toward your chest slightly, release your elbows and arms back to your side. Feel a little more circulation from that back bend through your whole spine. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale them toward the ceiling. And another little back bend following those thumbs with your gaze as you lift your heart and pull those hands behind you. Exhale, pivot over, bring your hands to your heart and pivoting at the hips, dropping into ragdoll. Reach for the floor with those hands, tucking your chin, reach for the floor with the top of your head with the sitting bones lifting. And then slide the hands up under your knees and get everything in that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straight. Exhale back into ragdoll, bend your knees slightly. Hands together, and again, inhale, hands to your heart, all the way toward the ceiling, and another nice back bend, following those thumbs behind you as you lift your heart. This time, separate the hands, palms out and down, pivot at your hips, coming into that swan dive, chest bleeding, and drop all the way into Rando. And again, just take a moment there, lifting the sitting bones, pull your body in a little bit further if you like that stretch. And then releasing your hands, bend your knees, and come to our child pose transition. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Take a few breaths there in child pose, getting a good stretch on the whole back of your head. Exhale any tension. And then as you inhale, look to the front, sweep your hands forward, 
lifting your whole body all the way up on your knees and the hands toward the ceiling, follow them back behind you, another nice back bend, looking up to the sun and the sky. And then meeting with your hands again, bringing your shoulders back toward your waist as you sweep the hands all the way down to the floor and back behind you, coming back to child's pose, forehead to the floor. And again, inhale, same thing, bringing the hands forward all the way up to the ceiling as you rise into that kneeling position, lifting your heart to the sky, hips right above your knees. Exhale, hands sweeping down, follow them as you push your sitting bones back toward your heels, sweeping the hands back to your feet, and again, into child's pose. And one more time for that sweep up. Heart high, fingers back, looking toward the ceiling. Remember, don't crunch your neck too much. And sweeping back down, all the way into child's pose. As you get back there, just pause a moment, breathing, relaxing. And then inhale, sitting up, and come into stand position. Take a moment there, breathing, stretch that spine apart, activate your core for good support, press out through your heels, and don't forget to rip. So sitting bones a little behind you, shoulders relaxed. We're gonna bring one foot up to the inner thigh, so right foot to your inner left thigh, knee out to the side as much as it wants to go. Just relax through that hip rotator outside of your hip. Keep the Front leg, knee and toes up, bring your hands toward your sides. Reach them out at shoulder level, bring palms down and turn the palms up. Inhale right above your shoulders. Exhale, sink into your me, sitting bones, hands to your shoulders, and then stretch way, way up. Breathe in and then exhale down. So really sinking into the sitting bones, we're gonna stretch again way up, pivot at your hips at the top of the thighs and reach for your foot, bring your chest toward your knee, not your head. Push the sitting bones a little further behind you. Keep your spine as straight as you can so that head's going to be up toward the ceiling. And then exhale and just deepen into that pivot. So the chest, chin come toward your knee a little bit more. Head reaching toward your toes and toes pulling back. And you're pivoting right there at the top of the thigh, getting as much stretch as you can through the whole spine. And then reach your arms forward, shoulders toward your waist, pivot back up and release the hands, palms out and down. Lift your knee and bring that leg back into stand position. So just take a moment, feel a little more circulation through that upper body, through the hips maybe too. And yeah, we gotta balance and do the other side. So left foot to the inner thigh, and right leg out to the front, press out through the heel with the toes coming back, bring your hands to your sides. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, and to bring the arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Exhale. Hands down to your shoulders, sink into your sitting bones and stretch up as you breathe in. And again, exhale it down. Stretch way, way, way up. Pivot at those hips and chest leading toward your knee. Reach for your foot or your leg, bring forward the floor. And again, just hold wherever you reach. Keep your arms by your ears if that's comfortable with those shoulders going still toward your legs. Push the sitting bones a little bit further behind you. Exhale, bring that chest maybe a little further toward your leg. Keep that head up, stretching out toward your toes, toes pulling back, back of the knee as straight as is comfortable. Remember, you can pull that kneecap toward your thigh, tighten the front of the thigh for those hamstrings to release on the back of that leg. Take a breath. Stretch and lengthen, and then release your hands back next to your, your shoulders, arms next to your, your uh, body parts, and pivot back up. So the arms are right next to your ears as you pivot up, shoulders are toward your waist. Turn the palms out, 
and bring your hands down. And again, lifting your knee, bring that leg back to the front. Sitting bones behind you. Shoulders back and down, core active, spine straight. Take a moment there, activate those thighs, stretch through those hamstrings, bring your hands again to your sides, arms out at shoulder level, shoulder blades down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, sink those hands to your shoulders, and inhale, stretching them. As you sink the hands again, exhaling to your shoulders, sink into those sitting bones, and then reach way, way, way up. Arms by your ears, desk leading, and pivot. Reach those hands towards your toes if they go, or towards your legs. Keep the arms by your ears just stretching out, chest toward your legs as much as they want. Bring those sitting bones behind you even further. Stretch the spine long. Remember, your head is up, not sinking down. You want that whole spine nice and straight and stretching. And again, exhale, pivot maybe a little deeper with that chest coming toward your legs. Arms by your ears, shoulders toward your waist as you again inhale, pivoting up, hands out, exhaling, hands down to your sides. And roll those shoulders back a couple of times. Take a breath or two as you bring those feet to the end of the mat, getting ready to roll onto your back. So activate the core and slowly come all the way down. As you get to the mat, just take a moment, recline integration, getting everything releasing, shoulders down, bring your hands out T position, palms up or down, we'll just do our bent knee twist. So bend your knees slightly, sitting bones toward your heels, press the back down, heels in near your sitting bones. Knees straight up. Keep those thighs rolling toward each other slightly. Press the back down, bring the knees right above your hips, feet off the floor. And then if you want a little extra low back work today, you can cross your leg over or keep them next to each other and just roll those knees over to the side as you turn toward the opposite side. Hands, palms up or down, keep those shoulders on the mat for that middle back twist. Head turning for your neck shoulder area twist. And just let those knees go as far toward the floor as your lower back wants to go. You can pad, remember, anywhere you need to. Take a breath. Exhale any tension, let it go. Just allow your twist to happen, never force it. And the longer, of course, you hold the twist, the deeper your twist will be for you. But don't force anything. But for now, just bring those heels back towards your hips and roll onto your back. Each of the four, if you need to straighten things out, and we'll twist to the other side. So again, sitting bones sliding toward the heels and back pressing down, knees above your hips. Cross the leg if you want to on this side for a little bit extra low back work. Knees toward the floor and head turning to the opposite direction. And again, just deepen as much as your body wants to. Shoulder, shoulder blades down for that middle back. Head turning for that neck area. Don't go too far if that's an issue for you. And just let those knees come as far as they want. Breathe deep. The more you emphasize those exhalations, remember the more those ligaments along the spine allow you to release into your twist. Don't go too far, just let it happen. Never overdo. Exhale, just deepen as far as it wants to go. And of course, holding longer on your own, but for now, we need to get to our relaxation. So heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, bring your feet to the floor, and slide them out near the end of the mat. Bring your hands next to your hips and turn the palms up. Shoulders coming down toward the floor, shoulder blades toward your waist, soften your belly. Breathe deep, let that hip area release, lower body relax. Follow it up toward your shoulders, let them relax as well. Bring your attention to your shoulders and your neck area, soften and sink. 
Move your jaw around, soften your face. Take a deep breath and let everything relax. Sinking deep into that surface beneath you, let your body go. And just allow the earth support to embrace you. Allow your awareness to release your body completely. And just let your body sink deep into that earth support without attention. And as you let thoughts of your body go, know that other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well. Let them drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to think of your body or anything else. Just let those thoughts coming to you drift away without attention. Shoulders releasing, body relaxing, everything just deepening into that earth support as you allow your mind to float freely. Deep breaths in, just exhale everything, allowing your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And as you breathe more fully, just allow your body to sink and your mind to float as your awareness goes inward. Find that peace point deep within. Fill your body with the peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments breathing, being peace. Keep relaxing as long as you have time today. Or if it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the lung, to the body with your breath. As you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you to do. Move your feet and ankles. Circle those knees around, hips. Stretch your arms overhead as you breathe more completely. Give yourself a good full body stretch. And when you're finally ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you have enough yoga hug of appreciation, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.